All right, Nick, as we comb back through the draft, there's a lot of movers and shakers. This is a very fast-paced and exciting draft that we had this uh, past uh, draft season. And I think one thing that stuck out to us was how many guys slid and became true late-round draft gems. And one guy we had ranked quite highly was Bernard Raymond, uh, tackle from Central Michigan, and I think he's just, you know, a, a huge steal at where he went in the third round, don't you think? Yeah, the Colts really did a heck of a job getting Raymond in the third round, just like you said. So a lot of people, us included, had Raymond as a first-round prospect, kind of last half of the first round. And the fact that he falls in the third round is insane value and a great job by Chris Ballard and the Colts staff there. But to back up a little bit and little, a little background on Raymond, this guy's a phenomenal athlete, 6'6", 300 pounds. 4-5 shuttle, 5-0-40. He's a former tight end that transitioned to left tackle in 2020 for Central Michigan uh, and got better as he progressed in his career. By his senior year, he was first team all MAC, which it's the MAC. This isn't the SEC or the ACC, but it's still pretty good. So he's a good football player. I think the overall consensus on Raymond was that his, develop, uh, his talent level was so high. If he could develop, he had a top 10 pick kind of ability if he could get there in the NFL. His athleticism is there, and by the end of his career, he was playing at a high level. And the fact that the Colts got a guy with this much potential talent in the third round is an absolute steal. Yeah, no, I completely agree with you. And from his humble beginnings, being a foreign exchange student from Austria, uh, moving over to the United States, learning the game of football, going to college, started out as a tight end, like you said. In that first year as a tight end, he graded, you know, so-so, wasn't wasn't too strong, like a 47 grade. But then 2020, his first year as an uh, offensive tackle, he graded out a 75, which is pretty good. If you had three years of 75 grade, that's like low first round, mid second round grade for you. But then his final year last year, he graded out at a 94.6. That's the second highest grade of any tackle in the draft. So the fact that this guy, a guy that by all accounts, looking at his tape, like you said, sometimes it's a little bit of lesser competition that he's going against. He looked like one of the most polished tackles in the entire draft this season. It is crazy he made it all the way to the third round to me. It's almost unbelievable. So like you said, great job to Ballard and the Colts for getting this. I mean. How how does a guy like this fall all the way? Is there any knocks on him or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, so I think the big thing, right, is he doesn't have experience at the tackle position. He's been doing it for two years. But the weird thing is, is there's history that of NFL of NFL tackles that started off as tight ends. Notably, Nate Solder and Sebastian Vollmer, ironically, both played for the Patriots, were tight ends starting off their college careers, transitioned to tackle, and had really good careers in the NFL as tackles. So there is a little precedent for guys that follow the path like Raymond did. But I think the really interesting thing here with Raymond is the fit. So obviously he's new at tackle. He's got a lot to learn. He's going to have to learn on the fly a little bit. The Colts had Eric Fisher at left tackle for a number of years. He's now gone. He left as a free agent. So that was a big hole for them to address coming into the draft. So they went out and got Raymond, who's a developmental prospect. He has all the physical tools, but he's still got a lot to learn. Look who's directly to his right. Veteran superstar guard, Quentin Nelson. What better running mate to have if you're a young offensive lineman who's still trying to learn the ropes, but you have all the physical gifts than the all pro superstar guard, Quentin Nelson. It seems like an ideal fit. Oh yeah, no. And uh, Nelson's a road grader and so is uh, Raymond. He, like we said, he had a couple knocks, but he has so many strong points. Uh, He has excellent hands. He's extremely athletic being a tight end. He's, he might be uh, tackle size now but his speed and ability to move around the field is unparalleled he still moves like he's a tight end I uh, I think he's a day one starter in the NFL easily at that left tackle position but like you said when you know that just to your right on the line is like you said all pro world beater most likely hall of famer uh Quentin Nelson like it takes a little bit of the pressure off you. You know you're not going to get blown out from the right side from like a, a pancake or something like that. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, and, and playing offensive line myself in college, it is very uh, reassuring to have a guy to your left or to your right, depending on where you play on the offensive line, that you know he's going to handle his stuff. Because offensive line, so much about it is playing as a unit, playing together, being cohesive. The fact that you got Quint Nelson to your right, you know he's got his crap together. He's not going to put you in a bad position. And here's the other thing. You have Matt Ryan now as your quarterback. 
Matt Ryan is obviously a savvy veteran. He's been doing this for an extremely long time. Matt Ryan is not going to put you in bad situations either. He's not going to hold on to the ball too long. He's not going to roll out of the pocket in a weird way that, you know, as a left tackle that puts you in a bad position. Matt Ryan's going to give you a lot of chances to be successful too. Plus they do a lot of play action, which, which helps out pass blocking tremendously at the tackle position. So again, this was a guy who was a first round talent who fell to the third round and the, he goes to the Colts and the Colts have the perfect situation to take advantage of those talents and also negate some of those weaknesses. This is just a, a, an awesome job on the Colts.